This is Dr. Anna Maria Mihalcha. I'm the president of AM Medical LLC. Today I want to talk to you about relief from chronic pain with methylene blue. What is methylene blue? It is literally an ultraviolet blue looking dye that's been known to science for over 120 years. Uh, Low-dose methylene blue is very safe. There have been almost 6,000 human studies that are listed. Methylene blue has properties that are antiviral, antibacterial, antimalarial, uh, and uh, it is a precursor molecule to hydroxychloroquine. It has some remarkable properties within the cell. It increases cellular oxygen consumption by 70%. The more oxygen delivery we have to the cells, the greater the electrical properties as well as the metabolic property and the health of the cell is. And methylene blue alleviates mitochondrial dysfunction, which is one of the prime reasons of how we age and how all chronic diseases are mediated. Uh, so it gives electrons directly to the electron transport chain to make ATP. ATP is the energy currency of the cell. So it is able to bypass any problem in the mitochondria and initiate the production of energy. The more energy we can make in our cells, again, the more we can regenerate cellular function and increase health. It is a thousand times more potent uh, than other mitochondrial protectors known. It has renewable auto-oxidizing properties. What that means, uh, so an antioxidant is a substance that can give electrons, just like methylene blue, or you would know about vitamins like vitamin C. Uh, it can have antioxidant properties, and it does so by giving electrons. Methylene blue can give off electrons and then be recycled to do it again. So this ability to continue to give electricity to make energy in the cell where it bioaccumulates in the powerhouse of the cell, which is the mitochondria, is very special property. It reduces reactive oxygen species. So one of the ways that we are aging and that our cells are, and DNA is occurring uh, injuries is through oxidative stress and the production of these reactive oxygen species. So methylene blue is able to bypass that and reduce it. So henceforth it has anti-aging properties. Uh, it has substantial anti-cancer properties, especially uh, in photodynamic therapy. It is neuro-enhancing. Neurons love methylene blue. Uh, and there are fantastic studies that show reversal of Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's disease, and treatment of other neurological conditions. It has antidepressant properties because it inhibits an enzyme called MAO, uh, which makes it similar to a tricyclic antidepressant. Uh, this uh, has significant mood elevating properties. So the property of methylene blue that we want to discuss today are its substantial effects for pain reduction. And I want to discuss the studies and the scientific literature and the reviews of methylene blue in the research uh, that I've done in the literature. This first study I wish to discuss, uh, which looks at methylene blue in the treatment of discogenic low back pain. That means people who have uh, discs that are dysfunctional or they have herniated discs that are pinching nerves and causing severe pain like sciatica. Um, and in this study, the conclusion was that methylene blue did not work. It is very important to be able to look at scientific studies and analyze the data for oneself because sometimes the conclusions that the investigators arrive at um, are limited or they are driven by uh, other intentions. So 
I want to explain to you why I think that the results in the study were quite significant. So there were eight patients who got one injection, uh, which was an epidural injection, of, with methylene blue. One patient had a sustained response with improvement in function, meaning they were able to move better around and they had significant ongoing pain relief. One person had an 80% decrease in pain for six weeks. One person had a 30% decrease in pain. One person had complete relief of pain for two weeks. And one person had five months of pain relief with recurrence of pain after. Three people had no improvement. The reason why I think that these results are still significant is because this was just one injection. These people would usually take high doses of opiates, have other inventions like uh, interventions like physical therapy uh, that are ongoing and they may not be able to uh, have substantial pain relief. The amount of patients that were studied were very small, eight patients. Uh, is not a good number to give scientific documentation of whether or not something works or not. I want to give in comparison uh, that the number needed to treat, which is an important number in scientific literature. So ACE inhibitors are blood pressure medications that millions of people take. And the number needed to treat to prevent one cardiovascular death, which is an outcome, is between 70 and 124 patients. Y you must really consider this. So, so I have to treat 124 patients to prevent one bad outcome. But in the study, there were five out of eight people who had some form of substantial improvement in their symptoms of devastating chronic pain. For example, beta blockers, which is things like atenolol or metoprolol, you have to give 53 people this drug to prevent one known fatal heart attack and 190 people have to be treated daily for 4.8 years to prevent one death. I mean, these numbers are staggering. Again, if I go back to the methylene blue, five people with one injection, one dose had improvement. Aspen used to be given all the time to millions and millions of people for stroke prevention. Uh, and it was told to people that it prevents heart attacks. So you have to give 333 people aspirin in order to prevent one known fatal heart attack. But the number needed to harm, which is you want to document, well, how many people got hurt by this intervention? Was one in 250 had a major bleeding event that uh, potentially led them to the hospital? So imagine what has been um, recommended in a mainstream medicine as useful, and yet this methylene blue study was considered a failure. I think I made my point. This study shows that methylene blue relieves the development of osteoarthritis by upregulating very specific RNA expression. In rabbits with osteoarthritis, um, the injection of methylene blue downregulated a number of markers for inflammation, and therefore it was stated that methylene blue protects against osteoarthritis progression. Uh, the reduction of inflammation by decreasing a number of inflammatory cytokines uh, led to significant improvement in pain and inflammation in this rabid model. 
Here, riboflavin, which is a vitamin, and methylene blue uh, on visceral pain and pain perception was evaluated. And uh, it was shown that in mice, the methylene blue had significant uh, analgesic effect, meaning pain relieving effect on visceral pain, which can be very, very significant, and the perception of pain. This study looked at methylene blue on a post-operative low back pain and the, the functional outcomes after people had uh, open back surgery for the disc. It was a triple blind randomized placebo controlled trial, which is considered uh, the uh, best way of doing trials. And the conclusions were that a single dose of methylene blue uh, that was given intraoperatively to coat the, um, the dura and the surrounding tissues like the facet joints and the muscles uh, were very safe and had significant lower radicular pain meaning nerve pain and post-operative pain. The functional quality of life improved significantly three months after the operation in both groups. But the disability occurred more frequently in the control group than the methylene blue group. So um, there was no toxicity to this. So it improved after back surgery, the outcomes and functional recovery. Uh, this was a large study that looked at uh, intradiscal methylene blue injections for low back pain. And it showed that 40% of patients Ha had a positive results and there were no complications. 40% of these patients claimed at least 30% pain relief. Methylene blue has also been studied in other surgeries that can be extremely painful. Uh, anorectal surgery and lateral anal sphincterotomy. Uh, surgeries around the anal sphincters can be extremely painful. Uh, and these studies show that methylene blue, even in such uh, painful circumstance, uh, has clinical benefits that are substantial. This is a study that looks at oral mucositis in cancer patients. So cancer patients, when they get chemotherapy um, with very toxic uh, agents, particularly if they also get radiation, for example, in head and neck uh, cancers, they can have horrific pain. Uh, and what happened here in this study was that methylene blue was given as a mouth rinse and it uh, showed pain relief and sustained pain relief over three weeks. Patient satisfaction was very high. It reduced the opiate requirements, uh, so the patients had much less use of morphine. and. Uh, this really improved the quality of life. Uh, I have a personal experience with this in my clinic uh, with patients who have received uh, radiation to the head and neck and with one infusion sustained pain relief from previous ongoing pain. So in my office, uh, in the use with, of methylene blue, I have seen some absolutely remarkable results. I think that the uh, chronic um, pain and uh, opiate use epidemic in the United States is um, just outrageous. And to be able to offer something that is non-toxic and helpful to people in many cases with immediate results uh, is quite fantastic. Um, cases of 
Instant pain relief, I have definitely seen that with intravenous methylene blue in osteoarthritis where patients came in with 10 out of 10 pain and within 10 minutes into the infusion reported complete pain relief. That doesn't happen to everyone. Uh, I have some patients who don't feel anything. But the mere fact that there is a substantial number of patients who have such significant clinical outcomes that are so fast um, to me, uh, provides enormous uh, hope as a clinician. I have had cases of complete pain relief that lasted from eight hours uh, to over a week with one dose intravenously. Uh, there's been significant improvement of quality of life and mood. Uh, there has been improved pain relief um, when we combine the IV infusions with the capsules. So patients take the capsules uh, daily uh, in between infusions. Uh, one of the things that's been shown is that methylene blue in low doses will, over time, change DNA expression in mitochondria so that they then start producing greater energy. So uh, what happens is that the uh, effects are cumulative. And so when we stay with the methylene blue and continue the treatment, uh, people over time have a significant increase in response rates. So the uh, methylene blue capsules and weekly or biweekly intravenous infusion improve back pain and uh, joint pain in some cases up to 80%. Um, the um, back pain relief also occurred with capsules uh, alone and I've had some cases of complete pain relief uh, with no longer needing any type of opiates with severe um, osteoarthritis of the spine and previous uh, vertebral compression fractures uh, which is an outstanding result. I've had uh, cases of reduction of opiate use by over 75% of baseline within four weeks after treating the methylene blue treatment, some days not needing any pain medication, and the improvement continues as we're continuing uh, treatment. Uh, there's also been significant reports of improved sleep due to less pain and uh, enhancement of quality of life. So I definitely think that this is a tremendous uh, treatment. I combine it with other things uh, uh, peptides like GHK copper that have uh, also significant pain relieving effects uh, and um, I do think that this is a uh, fantastic alternative uh, for people. Uh, it clearly uh, provides a pathway for people to come off of chronic opiates. If you would like uh, more information about AM Medical, you can find us at ammedicalmd.com. Uh, we are located in Yelm, Washington, um, and you can follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you very much for watching.